Hello all my cruise and travel fans, it's Rob here from Cruising on the High Seas and Travel. In today's video, I will be giving you a taste test review at Flame Sharma and Grill. This one's right here. Just located just off of the outside of the airport. So let's go on in and check them on out. So I'll see you after the intros and the intro store is about right now. Thank you for staying for the intros. Once again, it's Rob here from Cruising on the High Seas and Travel. Once again, I'm still here at Flame Shrama Grill. And I got myself the Shrama plate with a nice big cold old drink. Well, it's a beautiful day here. So let's dive on in and give it a test try and see how it is. There are many things you can put in there, potato and some pasta. So I threw in as much great, awesome things like potatoes and pasta and salad and, and all the tzatziki sauces and all the works. Works, let's dive in and try it out. Cold pasta. And I'm hoping you all can hear me because I'm not too far from the airport. And there's traffic in the background. So hopefully you guys can all hear me loud and clear. So put a one uh, inside the comment section uh, if you guys can hear me. If not, then um, I'll have to do a, a, a voiceover on it. But it's cold pasta. Let's try this little chicken piece. Not bad. The chicken's um, tender. And, you know, little, uh, and you get to build the way you want, which is amazing. As you all see, I I have done many shawarma places. I've done um, Osmos and the shawarma, and when I was in New Orleans, shawarma on the run, and now I'm here at Flame Shawarma and Grill. Here in Toronto. So it's not too bad. And then of course it's, it's a rice in underneath. Wow. So many options. course with the salad I put some uh, tomato on there like I said you got to build the plate and for this home char meal that you saw the plate and the big 7 uh, 10 milliliter of coke which is shy of 21 bucks so a little expensive for meal but so far it's not disappointing um, you know it's not the best one I've had but it's definitely not the worst oh. and try to get as much on the fork as I possibly can one shot and I'm trying to get some rice in there but, you know 
They're fairly close to the airport, but definitely not something that you can do um, on a layover because you'd have to leave the screening area and all that stuff, and of course, find your way over here. Uh, so, on the far end of the airport, but I guess if you're on like a 11 hour layover or something like that, something that you could maybe consider. But once again, you have to leave that screening area. So, but. It's not too bad. I was hoping for the chicken to be cooked a little bit more. But. The tzatziki sauce is, is really good. It does give you that flavor. But. But I guess it's going. To, I'm going to now come into uh, the rating. Um, for the value of the meal, I would have to give it a five out of ten. It's a little overpriced. I think it could maybe be a tad cheaper. Not by much, but just a little tad cheaper. Um, like I mentioned, the chicken could be cooked a little bit more to make it just a little bit more tender and and you gotta make it more, a little bit more juicy. Overall, it, like I said, it's not a bad meal at all. And the best thing about this meal here is this is the first time I got to choose how I want it built. So it's almost like a buffet. But it's like a, a very small shop, just at, off, off the side of the airport. So I saw it one day um, on my way past somebody, I said, I gotta stop here and try that. So. So overall, like, I would have to give them a 6.25 out of 10. And, um, yeah. And that's just the Sharma plate. Of course, I can't wait the, the coke because it's, you know, Pre-packaged, as you see, you know. But when I come back here again, I guess I, I probably would, but it wouldn't be my first stop. I would definitely want to find another amazing place that just you want know, to blow my mind. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up this rest of the trauma plate here and um i hope you all enjoyed this uh food food review and um oh, here's a potato it's a warm potato so i hope you all enjoyed this food review and um if you did make sure you give a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section down below and if you haven't yet already subscribe and uh, ring that bell and share this content out to everybody you know so like I said I'm gonna finish up this plate here and um, I'll see you all in on the high seas or wherever Charles may take us maybe in the chats so then bye for now